What is going on lads and welcome to Transfer Deadline Day, one of the most fun days in the footballing calendar. It is today and we've got two massive deals that have already gone through, so I'm going to bring you their cards, show you what they're going to be like in FIFA 15, predict their ratings and stuff like that, and we're just going to take a look at these crazy, crazy transfers that are the Falcao to Man United and Hernandez to Real Madrid. Before we get into it, these guys are probably going to come out on FIFA 14. EA have been pretty much on the ball. So we're going to go and pick up a couple of hundred K to try these out when they do. There's a link down in the description to UT Coins for you. Go over there, use the discount code AJ3 and you get yourself 5% off. But for now, let's just pull up Falcao's Manchester United card. How crazy is that? You can see it there. I've put him down to an 89 just because I don't feel that the 90 was justified. And most people do agree with that. Some people even putting him down to 88. But I've kept them at the same as what his Foot World Cup card was. So you can see 89 there. I haven't actually changed the stats too much. I've knocked his shooting down one. And that physical has gone down four from his heading, which was 89. Just because it's now a combination of heading, jumping, strength and all stuff like that. Rather than just his heading accuracy. Which was absolutely crazy last year at 95. But now you've got like 74 strength, 75 balance to take into account as well. So move that down a little bit. And I think he's not going to be changed too much. His stats still are absolutely awesome. He's still going to be ridiculous in the air. Because he's still going to have crazy jumping and heading accuracy. And he is only five. Five foot nine, but he is absolutely ridiculous for them crosses in FIFA 14. So there we go. Man United have bought Falcao. That it blows my mind that they're spending so much money and so much wages on a loan striker when they really need defenders. But they just seem to be taking up the philosophy. If you can't defend, just score more goals than them, and they are signing so so many good forward players. Di Maria, Rooney, Mata, Falcao, RVP. This team is going to be absolutely ridiculous going forward on FIFA 15. With the arrival of Falcao to Manu as well, that does free up some of their players to leave. So there's talk of Welbeck going to Spurs or even potentially Everton, but I think that is kind of off the cards. Now we've got Eto. Talk of Welbeck going to Spurs, but we are going to look at Hernandez, who is going to Real Madrid. So because he's now got so much competition for his place, he is going over to Real Madrid on a season-long loan as well. So they've loaned one striker in and they've loaned one striker out to Real. And maybe it's going to go full circle and maybe Real Madrid will loan Jesse Rodriguez or something like that to Monaco and fill in the striker that they have just lost. I am not too sure, but there you go. That is the Real Madrid Hernandez. I haven't changed the stats at all, actually. He's still exactly the same rated on head to head as he was when he started the game. He hasn't really done too much for Man United, but you can't say he's been terrible either. So I think 82 is about fair. When he does come on, he does have a decent impact as well. 88 pace, 75 dribbling, and 76 shooting. He's going to be a very good striker for your FIFA 15 squad. And it's nice to have a bit of a change from Benzema. I've never really liked him on FIFA. So it'll be good for your Real Madrid squad. He's both cheap for a decent striker for the, Bund the Liga BBVA, as they are quite hard to come by. And then then he is just... Real Madrid's team, again, is absolutely ridiculous. Bale, Ronaldo, Benzema, James Rodriguez. Now they've got this sweaty guy, Hernandez, to chuck in if you want a cheap option. He is going to be a very good card, again, for the BBVA on FIFA 15. But that is just a quick video, lads. I hope you have enjoyed it. As the deals come through, I can make more of these videos and predict the cards and show you what's going on, rather than you sitting there watching Sky Sports News all day, if that was something you would enjoy. So if you would, drop a like on this video and let me know what are the deals you'd like to me to make a video on. But apart from that, I hope you have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.